Hello, George will be back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this quick, easy, simple card. Um, I'm using the stamp sets hand penned and I'm just using that image and the infill images. Um, and then I'm using Happy Thoughts for Happy Birthday. I can't remember where I got this big happy birthday from. Actually, I don't think it is even stamping up. I think it was another make. So I'm going to use that. I know it's not in a line. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing. But it will fit there. Yeah, it will fit there. So that's what I'm going to do there for the happy birthday. The DSP I've got. Right, I've got a card base of basic black at eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth a piece of whisper white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths and another piece for inside and then I've got a piece of DSP this is the DSP that's on the back of the catalogue for a hostess um, Buy. If you host a party, you'll get it near enough half price. So that's where that's from. Um, and then we'll just stamp the image, which I don't have DSP out for, uh, cardstock out for. So I have to use that because I haven't got a big enough scrap. So let's stamp the image first. Right, uh, I need that to stamp happy birthday on, and I need that to stamp this image. So, with my memento, oh, where's that come off of? Didn't have enough blocks out for that stamp. Right, I'm gonna push that down like that. Nice. Um, and then we're gonna colour in, not colour in. We're gonna stamp in the colours using the stamps. So I've got so soft succulent for the greens, the leaves, pale papaya, these are all the in colours I'm going to use, fresh freesia and polished pink. So let's do the big flower first and we'll do that in polished pink. So I have got I must remember that they don't fit. So one in polished pink and then we'll do this one in fresh freesia. And this little one. Pale papaya, we will do the double flowers. Like that. And then in soft succulent, we will do the leaves. So, 
the big leaf. We'll pop on there. And then the small leaves. Funny how the small leaf fits in the stamps, but the big leaf is not big enough. There we are. And then we just need to cut that out. I think this one, oh, I'm hoping this one goes on the um, plate. It will. Just got to cut it right down. All right, and place this on. through the sidekick. There we have it. Put this away. down and now we need oh stamp happy birthday on here so with my happy birthday and my versafine I'm actually going to stamp this upside down I am going to stamp it right here sure it is dead straight. Oh yes. Not as bold as the other one was. Right, we're going to stick that on like that. And our flower we're going to stick there. Yeah, let's do this. And then we'll stick this on our card base. I think I did stick the flower on with dimensionals. So. We need to put dimensionals on the back of this. Use quite a few as well. Oh, my. Let's 
Take all the backs off. And place that there. And just need to add some black dots. Should have got more of these. Keep using them. Not gonna last oh. not gonna last long at all. Right. A medium, a large one up there, medium again there, and a tiny one again. just got the standard inside to do. If I can find what I did with the stamp. Um, what did I do with it? Let's see here. I don't usually take this off of here. It usually just stays on here. Needed this block for that. Right. And pop that inside. I'm going to have to hunt through my stamps and see if I can find a change for the middle. in the same stamp all the time. Right, that is that card done. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.